What's up guys, welcome back. Moving on to another example dealing with factoring the sum and difference of cubes. So this is a difference of cubes here. We got two X minus three to the power of three minus eight times X plus one to the power of three. So notice that this here, this is a difference of cubes. So we got A to the three minus B to the three. And then what's the formula for this? A minus B, A squared plus AB plus B squared, like that. And so if we take this expression, what's the A going to be in this case? And then what's the B going to be? Well, the A is going to be the third root of this. Okay, so it's going to be 2x minus 3. The third root of 2x minus 3 to the power of 3 is just 2x minus 3. And then what's the third root of this? Well, we got to take the third root of 8, which is 2, and then the third root of this bracket, which is just x plus 1. So from this expression, our a value is this, our b value is that, 2 times x plus 1. And then notice that this to the power of 3 is that, this whole thing to the power of 3, you would take the 2 to the power of 3, you'd get 8. You take x plus 1 to the power of 3, you get x plus 1 to the power of 3. So now what we got to do is we got to just take these expressions here for a and b and just sub them into that formula. So this here would equal, I'm actually going to give myself some room here. Uh, so we'd have a minus b, so we'd have 2x minus 3 minus this expression. So minus 2 bracket x plus 1, like that. And then we'd have a squared, so we'd have 2x minus 3 squared plus a times b. So we'd have uh, 2x minus 3 times 2 times x plus 1. So I'm going to take this 2 and I'm actually going to put it in front. And then I'll have 2x minus 3x plus 1. And then plus b squared, so you take this entire expression and squared, including that 2. Be careful with that. So you would take 2x plus 1. I'm going to throw that in square brackets, and I'm going to square that whole thing. And then we're going to close that big bracket right there. And now, really what it is, is just simplifying. And you got to be careful at this step, too, because there could be a lot of algebra mistakes here. So... Over here, if we simplify, we'd have 2x minus 3 minus 2x minus 2 after we distribute that negative 2 inside the bracket. This, you foil it out, you'd end up with 4x squared minus 12x plus 9, like that. I'm going to foil out these two brackets, so we'd have 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. Uh, let me just make sure that that's all good. Yeah, that's fine. And then this here, the 2 goes to the power 2, so we'd have 4. I'm gonna, this is still all the same line, but I'm going to start it here just because I'm running out of room. So we'd have 4, uh, 2 squared is 4, and then we'd have x plus 1 squared. Foil that out, you'd have x squared plus 2x plus 1 like that, right? So lots of simplifying here. Notice here, the two x's cancel out, which is nice, and then negative three minus two, that gives us negative five, so that's gonna be on the outside. And then let's simplify all of this here. We'd have four x squared minus 12 x plus nine, plus, distribute the two inside the bracket, um, four x. We could have simplified here, but I'm just gonna distribute the two to both of those like that, and then over here we'd have plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 4, like that. I'm gonna erase this part here. And now we just gotta simplify this bracket. So just wanna make sure that everything is all good here first. So whenever I'm doing these sort of big questions, I'm always checking my steps, even though it might take a little longer. I feel like that potential of catching issues and then saving time in the long run is worth it. Uh, so yeah, we're all good here. So let's uh, collect some like terms. 4x squared, so there's three of them. So we'd have 12x squared in this bracket. And then we'd have 12x plus 4x, which is negative 8x, minus 6x, which is minus 14x, 
plus 8x, that would give us minus 6x. Like that, and then we got 9 minus 6, which is 3, plus 4, which is 7. So we'd have plus 7 here, and then this here would not factor. And so that there ends up being your final factored form for that expression.